Hello. <laughs> I just can't take you seriously, bro. <laughs> What's up, people? <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> that was more natural, right? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else in between. Thank you guys for joining us for the fifteenth episode of Sports from All Angles. This 15. is the show where what do we always do for Sports from All Angles, bro? We talk about the highlights. We talk about the stats. We talk about everything from injuries. To, to the new upcoming players, to everything in every single sport. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. He's getting ambitious. We, we, we do talk about those, just probably not in every episode. But yes, thank you, Don Yo. <laughs> <laughs> and... the Halloween special, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it is. It's, it's... Oh, it is Halloween. Yeah, yeah so yeah. happy. Happy ha- spooky day. Yeah, spooky yeah, happy day. Happy Halloween, people. Yeah, so yeah. like always, Francis Mondrala. To my left, we have the... The Don Dada of all Dons. And for the first time for the Sports from All Angles, we have... <laughs> uh, Damon. Damon? What's Dame your last Dalla. name? Damon Haynes. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> the second Dame Dalla. <laughs> But, okay, so we have a little, it's been a, a jam-packed week. We're recording late, so, so we apologize about that. But this is going to come out, to, well, tomorrow, Wednesday. So, yeah, but, okay, so where, do you guys want to talk about spe- a specific sport first, or do you just want to go with the flow, fellas? Go with the flow, bro. Okay, it's well, first, yeah. well, I'm going to, okay, okay. W- I'm going to shout out some hockey love because it's what the Golden Knights are doing. They're the new Las Vegas team. Mm-hmm. And for the first time in NHL history, the uh, expansion team has won eight of their first nine games. So they're eight and one. And to give some reference to this, when the Capitals first um, became a team in Washington in the 1974 season, they won eight games the entire season. Oh jeez! <laughs> and to go to fo- to go to football, to go to basketball, when an expansion team does um, um emerge, normally they don't do good. They the Buccaneers, do bad, yeah. the Jacksonville Jaguars, the list goes on and on. So what the Golden Knights, as we've been keeping up, Daniel, they're eight and one right now. Mm-hmm. So it's looking amazing. They, and they just started this. What this year <laughs> started it? Yeah, yeah. This is their first year. First or year being amazing. Last time I checked, they were eight and one. They they might have played another game. So, but either way, I want. Wanted to pull up that stat because that is incredible. Now to give some soccer love, we're not no. not huge soccer. No, fans. Not yes, huge you soccer know fans, we gotta no. give it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Chris, um, Cristiano. Do you know who I'm talking about? Ronaldo, bro. How you pronounce his first name? I don't know. I just know his last name, Ronaldo. It's I, I didn't write it down because I can't oh, spell it. Chris- Christopher. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Ronaldo, guys. Everyone knows who Ronaldo, Ronaldo is. Yeah. Yes, he, he's the handsome, good-looking guy that um, every soccer man wants to be and every soccer woman wants to fuck. So, What, dude? <laughs> I'm going to blank that out, but I'm still in my mind. <laughs> okay, unprofessional, but just... <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> you see where continue. his mind's at, right? Just continue. <laughs> okay, he won he won the FIFA Man of the Year for the fifth time. This is the fourth time in the past five years. And the reason why this is a big deal, this is basically the MVP of American sports. And he is now tied with Messi for the most uh, uh, FIFA Man of the Year awards of all time. And I just wanted to point this out because that's incredible. That's five. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. And he he's like a top. Tom Brady, in the sense, he's only getting better or he's crafting his skill the older he gets. So that's incredible. To move on to some tennis, because we're going to be all over the place today. My man, Roger Federer, he played in the Basel tournament a couple days ago. And he's on fire, guys. This is his eighth title this year alone. This is his eighth Basel title. And now he has 95 total titles altogether. And to put this into perspective for you guys the record is 109 and everybody else doesn't have more than 80 something so he is clear cut second yeah and to make this even more impressive he is 35 um this year he was 35 he's now 36 and in tennis terms yes no 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 no. has years to go (laughs) no 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 but this is the thing in tennis terms 36 is like 42 in football 
So 36 is like when you're playing, when you're um, Kareem playing in your 40s in basketball. So this, yeah. what he's doing so is he's, not normal. Okay, no, it's not. Yeah. Yes, yes. And he has eight titles. He has two Grand Slams, which is a Grand Slam is basically like the, the finest thing in tennis. That's mm. the ultimate goal, the Grand Slams. He has two of them, and he's having a phenomenal year. I wanted to shout him out, and it's just... Man, he's been playing since he was 17, and he's still doing what he's doing. So yes. that is impressive. He's amazing, right? Yes. <laughs> so we, we did that little knockout blow, give some MLB love, some FIFA some love, and some tennis some love. But now we're going to go into some basketball. Bum, we bum, have bum, two bum. basketball That's what fans. we talk about. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, so first off, we want to talk about the Cavs. Yeah, <laughs> Cavs are having a rough year this year, man. It's... <laughs> Which is surprising because they did start off three and one. They did. They yes. definitely started off nice, but the past, I think, what they lost three games in three the row? straight. Yes, yeah. yes. The most yeah. recent that uh, that that we're up to is the Knicks, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Porzingis. They got yeah. Porzingis was handing them high around. against them. The entire Knicks squad was playing well, and the Cavs just <coughs> disappeared. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I do want to point out this losing streak did start once Dwayne Wade went to the bench. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, they started losing when he was starting. Also, no, no, Chris they was. were three and one when he was starting. Okay, yeah. So I just want to put that out there. I'm just saying, Dwayne Wade doesn't need to be on that team, anyways. But okay, whatever. Yeah. Well, why don't you want him on the team? Because he sucks. He sucks now. He sucks for NBA standards. He now. sucks for He his would age. still whoop any of our ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. But he sucks. I'll admit he's not as good as he used to be, yeah. but sucks? I don't, I don't he think terrible D-Wade when he went sucks. to the Bulls. Okay, okay. okay. I don't know about that. Man. Okay, Damon, if you're making a team, would you want Dwayne Wade on your team? As like a bench player? Yeah. Well, what, 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 what bench? Six man? Seventh? Eighth? Good point. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. I'll give you that. All right. I was about to All say. Right. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah. I wouldn't want him on my team. His injury prone stuff. <coughs> yeah, his, yeah, his injuries he, he have caught been, up to himself. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, just saying. I still I love think Dwayne he's a Wade, good player, but, though. Uh, right, I, don't, I don't know about not he, putting he him on the, the team. the though. person I would let take 20-something shots a game. <laughs> I tell you that. You take 10. <laughs> And that's it. You better make the most of it. <laughs> we do. We should point out though, LeBron James has has been shrinking in the moment, like always. Yeah. So <clears throat> like he always. he got outdoored when they lost to the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Or no, what they did? Then they beat the Bucks, but he still got outplayed by Greek Freak. Yeah. He had so 30, I think like thirty six. <laughs> that was thirty eight. The thirty eight point game. So yeah, was that the game you he played point guard? No, no. I, I believe they won the game. They they yeah. played point guard. And then that's the, the next three is when they... Correct. Okay, yes. Because yeah, yeah. that's when he got a triple-double, mm-hmm. and now he has a triple-double at three different positions. Correct, correct. So, but for LeBron James standards, especially since he's talking all this stuff about the last thing he wants to achieve is 80% from the free throw line. And we know he's never been a, a great free throw shooter. And this year, or the past two years, he's been terrible shooting below 70, yeah. which is for him crazy for a guy who is of his li- caliber. Right? Yes. Yeah. And, and every year, on average, for his career, he's slowly ticking down, which is yeah. sad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he can't reign supreme forever. Yeah, but... I- do you, okay, age, age is this definitely is free throws, has though. to catch Come up on. to him. This is free throws. Yeah, yeah, and he changed. But the thing he, is, he there's no consistency. Yeah. He changes it. Like the, last year, it was some crazy thing. Um, something on ESPN. This they, they had a video. Last time I checked, it was like 32 different free throw attempts. Different free throw different styles. Forms. Yeah, yes. Different forms. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the last thing you want. I mean, all the great shooters all say it. You gotta stick to your Cons- form. Yeah, yeah, no matter it's what. Consistency, yeah. But um not to just bash on the Cavs, the Warriors are a hot yeah. mess too. They're four and three. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're doing better than the Cavs. <laughs> and I mean but, at but, the at the end of the day, they're still a great team. But they're but losing they're games losing they games shouldn't. They, they should lost win. to the Rockets yeah. when they shouldn't. And mm-hmm. who did they just lose to? The pit uh yeah, the Pistons. Yeah. Yeah, the so the Pistons just beat them. Yeah. So that's that's a so little I mean, yeah. Big upset. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to, to show some love and a nice transition, we're going to go to how the Pistons, the Magic, 
And the Celtics are five and two. Celtics, yeah. The Ce- okay, which I'm very is the surprised most- with the Celtics because you know after they lost Gordon Hayward, I thought it was done for the Celtics. Yeah, I really I thought too. it was over. Yeah. Okay, but they're still playing amazing. But this is my only thing. You Tatum have to remember might get rookie of the year. No lie. Who? Tatum, Jason Tatum. Okay. Uh, we're that- it's between him and Ben Simmons. Seaman. No, yeah. Lonzo. Lonzo. I don't no. think no. Lonzo's yeah, not going to get no. uh, rookie of the what? year. No. I don't think so. I mean, he's good, but I don't he's I not think even, it's Ben he, Simmons. He has his good moments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's but he's good. getting assistant rebounds every game. You can Correct. easily can score get, points. You can easily get what? <laughs> no, I'm saying you like you I think points are easier to come by in no. this NBA. No. But that's not what they're looking for when yeah. it comes to the rookie of the year, man. <laughs> they're looking for the person who's providing the most in all and you know the, and, oh, the entirety what, of the game. Exactly. What, you th- okay, yeah. so how is Tatum, what is he doing he's besides a, he's points? averaging almost a triple-double. Yeah. No, no, he's not. Yes, he is. It's a few games where he has a triple-double. Tatum? Yes. Can we look? You're thinking about Ben Simmons, bro. Forget Ben Simmons. Okay, well, as Daniel's <laughs> pulling this up, I... I don't think the Celtics is the most surprising because you still look at that team. They have Tatum. Oh, yeah. They have they that still one. Have a good team. Yeah, man. they have Kyrie. They have the center, which is I can't remember from Atlanta. What's the center? The come on, bro. Um, Horford, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, Horford, yes, yeah. yes. So for me, it's the Magic, bro, and the Pistons. They're five yeah. and two. Uh, who who would have who would have said that? I know it's only seven games, but who expected them to, to be, be tied? at the top of yeah. the league at the moment? Yeah. yeah. And okay, this is so yeah. not averaging. And it little. is. I mean, yeah, it, it is still early. Thank you. It is still early. So. <clears throat> 14, 14 and seven though. But Ben Simmons, he's averaging a double double, if I'm correct. He points and rebounds, and he has over five assists per game. Ben Simmons. Yeah, I don't know the the specifics, but for the Western Conference, the Grizzlies are five and two, and then it's just the hot he's mess. Averaging eighteen point four nine. And one for rebounds and 7.7 7 for assists. Oh, yeah. If he keeps that up, Ben Simmons <coughs> is getting the, MVP, yeah. or the rookie of the year. Not MVP. Rookie My only hope, though, is the Lakers, <laughs> if they somehow make the playoffs, I think he win will win. Because you remember last year, everybody was saying, he bead, he bead. And then that rant, the dude from the Grizzlies, I believe. Or the Bucks. The Bucks. Who did win it last year? It was some player we, uh, like, the public was not aware of it i believe it was a a rookie for the bucks okay i don't i honestly yeah. don't remember who the rookie of the year last year was <coughs> so okay anyhow moving on <laughs> right <laughs> okay but before we move on is there any team that we are surprised is doing so poorly what's the spurs record i, I have heard anything about <coughs> this i know they're not they're not winning like they should Although Lamarcus Aldridge is playing a lot better, yeah. he's playing like he, he's, he's playing, playing the like, ball like right. He's supposed to, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, that's only, but, but that's only because Kawhi Leonard's off. Yeah. But can we be honest? Last year too, he was getting the ball. He just wasn't. He just what he was trying to move it too much. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. He looking wasn't to score. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely wasn't comfortable, like in his own field, I should say. Yeah. He was definitely looking to give it to, you know, feed the rest of the team. Yeah. And then if they couldn't do anything, then he'd say, oh, okay, fine, I'll take it, you know? So, yeah. Uh, since we're talking about stats, we want to bring up the Greek freak. Wow, through seven games, he's averaging 34.7, basically 35 points. He's averaging 10.7 rebounds, and he's averaging five and a half assists. Yeah. yeah. Remember that name, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. I'm glad you're on the show because I can't pronounce it. I always <laughs> call him the Greek freak, man. And man, he, he's a bad man in pajama. I mean, I think, wasn't it last year? I think he was only averaging like 15 points. No, no, no. La- no, no. Like yeah. That was the year before. The year last before. year was when he took. Yeah. Last took year. Off. Yeah, last and year. He just, he just exploded. Yeah. And- because last year he <sighs> um, increased all five major stats points, rebounds, Assists, steals, steals, and blocks. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part is that he was the first player in how many years where he led the team in In all five. In all five, yeah. And when it, the thing is with him, you have to watch him because I've I've amazing. Yeah, I've seen two (laughs) games, and it. It's weird. It's he has the length of Kevin Durant, yet he's built like a young LeBron James. And if he wants to. He, he gets to the rack whenever he wants. Yes. He's just so massive. And bro, Six he is foot 11, 
a basically <laughs> seven footer. His wingspan. He is can seven dribble. Foot. He can dribble. He can pass. Uh, he can occasionally shoot. Occasionally. Yeah, yeah. He, I will. Yeah, he's definitely not the greatest shooter. But as Kobe but, showed, uh, uh, as Jason Kidd showed, if you if you're committed to shooting, yeah. unlike LeBron James, if you're committed, you can get there. Oh, Cause, absolutely. Because don't forget, Jason Kidd, the first ten years of his career, he, he was, was just a passer. Yeah. yeah, and he was a pretty bad three point shooter, if not hor- horrible. And now he's top five all time. So, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> I'm telling you, he's he's probably gonna be in, if he continues how he is, and if he stays healthy, def- yeah, that's, and he that, stays healthy. That's the key thing. Yeah. If he yeah. can have Kobe Bryant's, well, if he can have LeBron James type of health, mm-hmm. MVP, he's, and just from then on, he's a top ten player guaranteed. Oh, absolutely. in my opinion, top ten absolutely. because the stats. The stats speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's just this is insane. He might be the next player to average a triple double too, because he's the only player, he truly only player on his team. So if he stays with the Bucks, but man, it's wow, probably money being made though. If you know he does move on, <coughs> no, that's not true. The way the new NBA thing is now, if mm. you do stay with the team you were drafted by, mm. technically speaking, that's where you can make the most. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, ever since yeah. Kevin Durant left, they put a new thing in where. Even more so than before, it's obvious you make the most. Correct. So, okay. oh, yeah. yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, so that's the Warriors are changing a lot of things, man. <laughs> Which, by the way, I just want to point out Steve Kerr and his record amazing is, is incredible. Even though, do you really count some of his? Why not? <laughs> because yo, the first half of two seasons ago, what um, what's his name coached? Uh, Who's the Lakers coach now? Walton. Luke Walton. Yeah, Luke Walton. And then um, last year, for the end of the season in the playoffs, the... Didn't they have the assistant? Um, yeah, who yeah. used to coach Cleveland. What's, Correct. What, um, Brown? Brown, right? Yes, yeah, something yeah. Brown. Yeah, yeah so... But that team is just a dynasty. Okay, now... <coughs> so many amazing players on the team. <laughs> Let's talk about some injuries, because over yeah, the past... Yeah, man. Freaking... That's a human video game team. Yeah, the Warriors, seriously, man. They are a uh, two NBA 2K team. I, I said injuries, not Warriors. <laughs> I know, but he used to. Oh, I was, oh, oh, so, oh yeah, I was bad, still my talking bad. about him. My, my bad. No, no, continue. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish, we'll finish the same, bro. Like, we'll, we'll, why are they a video game team? They're, bro, they have, <laughs> first of all, you have somebody who can shoot the lights out, which is Stephen Curry. And, and Clay. Clay. My bad, two players. And three, Kevin. Three players, first of all, you have KD who can shoot and drive. Yeah. And you have Clay who can literally just catch and shoot and play defense. You have you know. Draymond Green who can do basically everything. And then you, the center doesn't really even matter. All you got to do is just play D and yeah, get which, the is yeah which is what he does. Which is what he does. Plays and D and rebounds. And now they have two you bench have players. Yeah, they, yeah, they, off they got the bench yeah, just yeah. shooting the lights mm. out. And then it's like, dude, stop cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what? <laughs> you know what was a crazy stat too? I, I found out. Okay, who were the top two three point shooters when they catch and shoot last year? J.R. Smith. No, I think Clay Thompson and oh Steph. No, no, no for catch and shoot. It was, um, Kyle Korver. Kyle Cor- Okay, yeah, Korver. Catch and shoot. Corver. That means the moment you get the pass, you shoot it. Yeah, I think Bradley Bill. No, also, wasn't it? No, not top two. Oh, and then who was the third? Mm. Swaggy P. That makes sense. Swaggy P just sh- yeah. He wow, loves that's what he does. Shoots. He yeah shoots yeah. But Wait, you said who's the second? <coughs> it was, was I Corver. Believe, Corver. Oh, he was bricking all season last year. No, no, he was bricking in the playoffs. Yeah, in the playoffs, he was missing oh. everything. Yeah, Catching yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just yeah, video game all star team, man. That's the team you want on your my GM for two K. <laughs> yeah, that and the Cavaliers team too now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tired of this stuff, man. I'm tired of it. But the Cavs, see, they this need, is the thing. Why like I never star cap. But this is the thing, bro. I never respected LeBron James from a winning perspective because how many times has he had a team that should have won 60-plus games and they're always mediocre in the regular season, bro? Every year in Miami, they should have won 60-plus games and only once did they win 60-plus. Or it was twice. That first season that they played together was horrible. Oh, that's because they had absolutely no chemistry and their bench was terrible. What about the fourth season, though? They didn't even have a playbook that first year. They literally was just free balling for, like, at least three months. Yeah, so. That year was horrible. 
Okay. Yeah, we can move on, though. Yeah, all okay. Right, right. Injuries. <laughs> what, have you guys kept up with injuries lately, the past week? Injuries, <clears throat> not as much. And I, I mean, like, I did, I do keep up with them because I get the, like, the notifications on my phone. Okay. But I can't remember any names. Like, I know. I, I I had so many names, and then I'm blanking. It was, like, Joe Flacco, somebody. Yeah. Um, Carson oh, yeah. Palmer yeah, broke his from, arm. From the <clears throat> Miami, yeah. Yep. Miami and also. I I because we didn't talk about this last week. Joe Thomas, he's a guard for the the Cleveland Browns. He started every game and he was in every snap of every game of his football career. He had ten thousand three hundred and sixty three straight snaps, and it was broken. And he's out for the season, and he might retire. And it's like, Jeez. I don't blame him. He's been playing for the for um. Crappy Browns. Yeah, it's just, and you know what sucks too. The first year he was for the Browns, that's when they went ten to six, and every year they haven't won more than eight games. Browns are ass. (coughs) Excuse me. (coughs) Booty, (laughs) booty. Yeah. So uh, we just want to keep an update on the injuries because this. I don't know if we're paying attention more, but we know for a fact when it comes to star players, it hasn't been like this in a while, bro. Because especially with football, you go back to Brandon Marshall's, the Odell Beckhams, the J.J. Watts, their other stud on um, pass rusher on the other end for the Houston Texans is injured. Eric Berry for the Chiefs, their safety's injured. Uh, the list goes on and on. It's it's incredible. But Carson Palmer is injured. It's like, what is going on? Oh, by the way, Jimmy Garoppolo for the, the Patriots, he's been traded to San Francisco. So Yeah, I heard. Yeah, so. And... Also, uh, the Markel dude uh, traded the, from the, what, the Panthers? The Panthers, yeah. To the Bills. <clears throat> Which I want to get into that. It's a good segue. The Bills are 5-2, and two, guys. Which, I mean, it's not really a surprise. They went right, it's not a surprise. Season, and <laughs> then they lost, lost, like, how many games straight? Okay. <laughs> but what's surprising is they were basically 4-5. Four, four, uh, Damon. <laughs> Yeah. They all, yeah, forfeiting the season. They traded, um, well, Anquan Borden just said, screw this, once they traded Sammy Watkins. Then they traded um, somebody else. And then don't forget that their cornerback left for the Patriots. This was supposed to be like, okay, well, this is a rebuilding year. And now they're 5-2. and two, And they just dominated the Raiders. I don't know why. Why? The coach actually says they don't name their players backups. If you're a running back, you're a straight running back. You're not back up to anybody. And they do that for all their players. So it, I think it's a straight confidence boost. Because if you think about it, it's say nobody wants to be named a, a backup. Yeah. <laughs> nobody Especially wants when you're getting paid. Up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So if you come off that bench, you better play the way you're supposed to play. Or and Bill Belichick. Like that's just a straight confidence boost. Yeah. Or as Bill Belichick goes about it, he says, this is a dangerous sport. Anybody can get injured at any time. Exactly. So you better be prepared to be a starter at any point in time. And if you're not prepared, you won't be on this squad. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So Exactly. So you play the way that you're supposed to play, you have nothing to worry about. But it's you get the respect you get. It's incredible because their offense isn't that good. But by the way, LaShawn McCoy in that game had 150 plus rushing yards. He was he was killer. He had a touchdown. So, but I'm impressed by uh, what's the quarterback's name? T uh, T J something Tyrod. Ty yeah, Tyrod Ty Taylor. Taylor yeah. Yes, <laughs> he he hasn't been turning the ball over. So that's that's impressive. Yeah. He actually been pretty good. God, the Bills Mafia. he missed like five uh, incomplete passes. Yeah, he so. For like 17 for 22 or something. <laughs> the key something thing like for that. him too, like you said, he's not turning the ball over and he's getting the first downs if it's running or if it's passing. So it's, my mom's actually interested in watching now. Like she could actually be asi- excited. So yeah, that, you know, that that's Bills, a good thing. So as soon as you watch and they start losing. <laughs> and they start <laughs> sucking again. I, bro, you know what I think about? It was a couple years ago. They started 4-0. And then they they missed the playoffs. They were like seven and nine. So trust me, I know this. They it's always just, do that. They'll, they'll win, and then last you're like, year they oh my exactly god, this record. And they were start two. sucking exactly yeah. this record. Oh. That's how they, the they Bills lost, have like, just been doing the last couple of years, man. That's that's crazy. <sighs> yep. <laughs> 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 the Bills, man. You never know. It's like a. It's like yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, can you go on the Twitter? By the way, I want to look something up as we're going to talk about. 
we're going to talk bring some MLB because like we talked about everything else. Why not bring some baseball? If you guys don't know the <laughs> World Series. Oh, yeah. As we talked about last week, the World Series started. The World Series is still going. It is five games in. They're, are they playing the sixth game tonight? I, I be- believe it's tonight, yeah. Yes. So yeah. as we're talking, yeah, go to favorites, by the way, for favorites. Rhinos. Yeah. But this has been an interesting. Moments or favorites? Oh, go, go to tweets. Or that. Yeah. Work. But yeah, the right now the Astros are leading three to two and. It has been a very interesting game because ever since the first game where the Dodgers bullpen locked it up, every other game has been a shootout and mm-hmm. game five was incredible. The final score was like 12 to 11. Yeah, it was a very fun game. It was, <clears throat> okay, there's two types of people, the offensive people and the defensive people. So if you're a defensive person, these scores are just pissing you off. The home runs you're not liking. Yeah, go to likes. My bad. I just... Can I see that real quick? <laughs> yeah, my bad. But uh, okay, so so the Astros. Oh, okay, so the Dodgers just won. Breaking news. Oh, right. dun, so dun, now dun. right. Now yeah. we're going to Game Seven. There you go. So this it's makes the conversation three. that much more more interesting. <laughs> By the way, this is the second straight World Series, I believe. Seven straight games. I mean, that went seven games. So if you're a baseball fan. Wow, you're getting some good baseball over the past couple of seasons. Yeah. The Cubs broke their 100 plus year um, drought of World Series. Let's see if either team, the Dodgers or the Astros, because the Dodgers are running on 38 years, where the Astros are 55 years or something like that. So whoever wins, they're going to be happy. But man, it's just <clears throat> what what do you like to see in sports, bro? Oh, I love the competitiveness. Absolutely. <clears throat> no, but um. Do you prefer uh, offensive loaded type of performances or defensive or de- as in for what sport? It depends, depends on, on the sport. sport. Yeah. Depends oh, it on does. The sport. Yeah, okay. The sport. For, for, like for MLB, I don't really watch it as much, but for uh, I like it as a, a close game, like as a lot of outs or. Oh, so you do like that type of? Yeah. So, <clears throat> so these home runs is like, eh, it's a home run. No, a home run you can get it. You anybody can get excited over that because you don't expect it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, it's going, it's going, <laughs> and then it's be like, oh, dang, how hard did you hit that? <laughs> so I mean, home runs is always exciting, but I like close games. Period. It's like if you can end a game with like three and four, uh, like it was like dang, it's like out of that whole game, it's like. How many times did you actually get a, into a yeah. piece? <laughs> how, how did you feel about that 11-12 score, though? Nah. Okay, so so he's more defensive. Damon? I probably, I'm probably i the opposite. Because <laughs> it's the most fun when you have bases loaded, all three guys, one guy knocks it out of the park, grand <clears throat> slam. You're just like, oh, my God. Like, And just seeing how the hits, like I just that's when it's the most fun for me. Okay, that's, cool. You know, most exciting. Uh, I, I'm mixed. It depends. For me, I'm a players person, so it depends on who's pitching. So if we have stud pitchers, I want, especially you when they're want to see them get those. Yeah, outs, like yeah. Verlander versus Kershaw, for example. I would love, like, if I want to see who's gonna fuck up first. You know, mm. oh man, mess. This this is our <laughs> giveaway <laughs> giveaway episode. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay, but. But okay, so yeah, the Dodgers won. Game seven is in LA as well. Who do you guys ha- uh, have, or you guys don't know, don't care? I mean, LA. Yeah, I'll yeah. If I that. had to choose, I'd okay. say LA. If I had to choose, but nah. <coughs> I, I'm gonna go with LA too, just because of home field and yeah. the 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 home teams. Uh, this postseason have been very dominant between the Astros and the Dodgers. So I'll go LA. I want to see LA to win. They've had an incredible season, but. Crappers, can you open that real quick, Brody? <laughs> and okay, but last but not least, I want, I guys, I want to talk to you about some college football, right? Miami Hurricanes won yet again, but they're barely winning, so they're still only ranked ninth. But the game of the week was Ohio State versus Penn State. The final score was 39 to 38. But what's so impressive about this? Ohio State was down by 18 points, bro. Oh, man. And <clears throat> if you were watching the game, they were down by 28 at halftime. And they came back? Yes. 
They came back, bro. And crazy. <laughs> The the first play of the game was a kickoff return for a touchdown for Penn State. Mm-hmm. So right off the bat, they're they're getting the mojo going. And th- if you guys watched the Oklahoma Ohio State game, this was looking like that all over again. They're in Columbus, Ohio State sh- are the favorites, and they're just falling apart. But something happened to J T Barrett where I got I, I had to write these stats. I was watching the game in moment, and I was yeah. It went from a complete deflator, I want to punch somebody, to, yo, best head in the world. And yes, I'm talking about this right now because we're, we're already cussing, so let's get into the <laughs> metaphors, right? Okay, JT Barrett, which, which by the way, um, he, he has 25 passing touchdowns to just one interception. When I saw this stat, I was oh, like, shit. wow. And the reason why this is so impressive, JT Barrett is not known for a passer. He's a dual threat quarterback. He'll get his touchdowns. He throws a couple of interceptions, but he gets his yards. The only interception he had for the season was against Oklahoma. Yeah. And ever since that, he's been on fire. But just to emphasize, 25 passing touchdowns, one interception. He is rolling. For the game, he was 33 for 39. That's over 80% completion percentage. He had 328 yards passing, four passing touchdowns, and he had 95 rushing yards. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Yes. He was, and this is against a Penn State defense that is top notch, right? And this is also a Penn State team that the previous week just clobbered Michigan, right? And and this is a Michigan with, uh, at the time, the number one uh, uh, FBS defense. So. I know it's in Columbus, home field advantage, but they were losing by 28 at home, 18-point deficit going into the fourth quarter, if I, if, if I remember correctly. And in the fourth quarter, he he was 16 for 17. He had he finished 13 straight passes, 100. No, 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 my bad, my bad. He, had, he finished the game 16 for 16, 16 straight passes. The fourth quarter was 13 for 13, 170 yards, two passing touchdowns. That's a heck of a game. So man. That's a heck of a when comeback. when I was seeing these stats, I was like, "Holy, <laughs> that's ridiculous, dude!" Yeah, that is the it's godly. Ty- yes, that's the type of game that gets you into the Heisman Trophy, which is the MVP for for college football, and gets you into the national championship. And to show you that it just wasn't an offensive thing, their defense showed up in the second half. Mm-hmm. The Heis- the Heisman front runner is. Penn State's running back Barkley, mm-hmm. he was held to 21 carries and 44 yards. Oh, jeez! He's been averaging 200 plus all-purpose yards for the season. Mm-hmm. It, it, I think it's currently 220, and he's been averaging over 100 rushing yards per game. Right? You take away that offensive touch. Um, I mean that kickoff touchdown. He had less than 100 total scrimmage yards. He had 44 rushing. So their defense they showed him up down. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm. I always pick college football over NFL just because games are more exciting. Mm-hmm. Teams are more likely to be upset, but at the same time, there's more consistency. Like so, when you have programs like Ohio State, they normally go eleven and two, twelve and one. But that one loss is normally a, a exciting game like this or an upset mm-hmm. game, and it's just. Just when you hear that and when you watch it, it's just like, if you're a Penn State fan, it kind of sucks. But you have to respect the game, you know? Yeah, you definitely do. Okay, so, but <clears throat> that's all I want to say. If you guys are Lamar Jackson fans, he had 330 um, passing touchdowns. I mean, 330 passing yards, one passing touchdown, 160 rushing yards. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. and you know that Arizona State kid, bro? Um, who who has all those rushing yards and he's the quarterback? You remember? Oh how, yeah, yeah. We, about. Yeah, we give the weekly update. He had yet another 100 plus rushing yard game, and I believe it's now four straight games he's had a 70 plus yard rushing touchdown. Isn't he a quarterback, bro? Jeez. <laughs> Michael Vick, <I'm> <laughs> right. That's you, what I was just about to say. Right. Michael Vick. Just like there was Mike this Vick one game. What was it? He had 16 rushes and it was 304. Like the, yeah, 300, 300 and something yards. <laughs> A, a quarterback, a, right? A quarterback doing that—that that is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and you run it back, <laughs> right? Yeah, and you need to change his position. <laughs> and, I, and over the last four games, ever since that three hundred rush game, over four, um, four games, he has around eight hundred rushing yards. Jeez, man. So playing amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. So that is something incredible. But 
that's all we have for you. If you guys want to say anything else, anything point out, or you just it's been a long day. It's it's always a long day. day. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, guys. My breath, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, last week that's that's that that um Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but hey, always cold in this house. Yeah. Cool. It's cool. Yeah, me and Dania were were chilling up here. We were getting some mojo going, thinking of some topics for this week. We're recording tomorrow for Rhinos, and two days from now we're recording diving deep. And it's like, man, we might have to invest in the heater. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, but thank you guys for joining us for the 15th episode of Sports from All Angles. And as Daniel always finish a video for us, he likes to say. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Give us a thumbs down. It's okay. Yeah, Tell us we something. did a lot if of cussing. Give us a, dumb, a thumbs down. <laughs> you did a lot of cussing. <laughs> if you give us a thumbs oh, down. Oh, no, 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 you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Danielle was surprisingly the... <laughs> the civil one. Yeah. Continue. My bad. <laughs> if you guys do give us a thumbs down, make sure, you know, tell us what we did wrong. Of course, it probably is because of the cur- cursing fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so but, shocking. <laughs> but like always, if you want to talk to us individually, the everything's in the description. The Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, we have our personal stuff on there if you guys want to talk to us individually. But other than that, guys, have a good one. Yeah. 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 So, um, and D- Damon, for future reference, if anything pops up uh, sports-wise mm-hmm. and you can't be on the show, just hit, pass it to me yeah. if you wanted to be in the show. And then if you are in the mood to talk about something serious, just Jot some notes down. So, all right. All right so, absolutely, bro. But this was a, a thing of the moment. Damon stopped by and he was like, "Yo, what's going on?" I was like, "Yo, I haven't seen you in like forever." <laughs> it's like, "Yo," and he's on the show for the first Ba-da-ding. time, <laughs> and we might see him for diving deep. Wink, wink, wink. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Never peace know. out, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good peace. one. <laughs> so, if you want to subscribe, just. Hit this bad boy up here, that big fat rhino. If you want the newest video, to the right. If you want the recommended, to the left. And then, of course, our personal dick dick pic. pic. Yep, right below. So, thank you for joining us once again, and we hope to see you next week. So, peace out. Peace.